Hey y'all, welcome back to Brambleberry. We are back out here at the chicken run trying to uh, move this project along, get a coop built so we can get some chicken. So if you want to see the progress on this, then stay tuned. <laughs> Well, it's been a while since we posted our first videos on this thing. And it's because it's been a while since we've done anything because, well, we went back to school for one thing, so we don't, haven't had as much time. But we've kind of been stuck in a uh, analysis paralysis with this thing. I, You know, I've been watching all kinds of videos about building a chicken coop and seeing all these different design features, things you should and shouldn't do. And I think I'm just overthinking it and I just need to build it because it's taking too long. We wanna get some chickens. You know, if you've watched my channel, you know that I build things kind of as I go, like design them as I go. So that's kind of what this needs to be, I think. We just need to get it get it going. So let me tell you about some of the things, or show you, I guess, some of the things that we've been discussing, me and the wife, about how this thing's going to look. So this end of the coop, or the run, I guess, is going to be where the coop is. We want this whole section to be where the coop is, basically. We talked about building a coop inside that was kind of like its own thing. That's going to take more materials, be more expensive. Uh, we also talked about combining the structure of this with some more materials to make a coop out of the uh, this part of the run. I think that's the, the way we're going to go. But then the question is, is do we put material... material do we put material on the outside or on the inside? What kind of floor do we have? All that kind of stuff. I think we're going to keep it just a dirt floor and do a, probably a deep water method. So we have thought about this and planned, but we're just, there's too many plans, too many ideas floating around. But anyway, I think I'm to the point where I'm going to build on the outside. Of course, on the inside, we're going to have to put a, a wall in there but I do want to try to do exterior uh, nesting boxes so that we can access them from outside the run so I know that's a design thing that I'm thinking don't know if it'll happen yet because I haven't built it uh, and then on this side this is kind of the south ish facing side of the run and you know we we've been talking about our house about building it with a passive solar design. So we thought, why not put some of those techniques and practices into play with the coop to help regulate the temperature in there. So this side uh, is gonna have a couple of windows on it that I picked up for pretty cheap. And it's actually not facing exactly south, but then we're gonna have uh, a roof overhang that's gonna compensate for that so that we block the summertime sun, but hopefully get some in the wintertime to heat the coop up. Uh, in our climate, from the things I've been reading, it doesn't really, we don't have to really worry about the winter as much as we do them overheating in the summer. So that's kind of where I'm at with that. I'm sorry to do all this talking right up front. Uh, that probably killed like all my views, but who cares? You know, I'm just making these because I want to. And if you're watching it still, you're watching it because you want to. So thank you for watching it. But we're going to try uh, this evening here to get a start on this, start building some stuff. This side here, since it has the windows, I'm going to have to do some framing in for those windows. Um, the rest of it, maybe I won't have to do quite so much framing. Uh, the top, we're gonna, I'm going to use metal roofing. Let me show you the supplies I got. So we've got some salvaged uh, corrugated metal here that we're going to use probably for siding. It's got holes in it, uh, so I don't think I want to use that for a roof. But we got some 2x4s, uh, some 1x4s. No, those are 1x2s 
or th I don't remember what they are. And these are just little, I forget what those are. One buys hat. I don't know what they are. But anyway, uh, all that I purchased just so to have some lumber out here. But we've got that. We've got this metal. Uh, we've also got, I don't know if I'll use it, but we do have some pallets. And I scored some more pallets from the lumber yard today. Uh, the windows are up here. So we got two of these windows that we're going to put in. Uh, one next to the other. So that whole side over here uh, from this pole to that pole will be window, you know, probably down to here or so across. So that'll let some light in. All design things that will probably change as we go. But this side, I think I'm probably going to put... Uh, the nesting boxes over here, if I put them exterior. And I'll probably have to have some sort of venting up here because we don't want moisture build up inside of our coop. Uh, inside here, I'm going to have to build a wall across here. So from this to this. Uh, and presumably put in a door. And we want to put in... A person door here so that we can get into the coop to clean it out and do all those sorts of things and then uh have an entrance you know a smaller entrance for the chickens you know for a while there i was thinking about doors like chicken doors and you know they've got all these fancy like automatic ones and stuff which are pretty cool but i don't know that we're going to need that if it's contained within the run because the chickens won't be really going in there for protection per se, except for from the elements. So they really just need a door that we can open and close if we want, but I don't know if we'll open and close it every day. We'll just kind of see how that goes. I don't know. We're new to this whole thing. So we're kind of figuring out as we go, but um, I don't really know that it's imperative to have a door that opens and closes automatically, but we'll see. Okay. So we're talking. So here is my dilemma. If I put the wall on the inside of the run, then I don't know how I'm going to put siding on the wall. Unless I build the wall in there, put the siding on it, and then stand it up. And put it all together that way but then if I want to have an exterior nesting box hanging off the back of it that's going to be a pain in the butt hmm. but for the windows I'm going to have to cut through this you know, so you open, close the windows. I guess that would be okay if the, but then again, I don't want there, want something to bust in through a screen on these windows. I don't even know if I'm going to put this all in the video. You all like seeing me think and ponder. <laughs> oh man. And here I get, here again, I am with analysis paralysis, even though I'm trying to do something. And the other bit of pondering is what to do about the roof. You know, this thing came with a tarp that you use for a roof. We thought, well, maybe it'd be better if we use metal and be a little more permanent, uh, hold up a little bit better. But now the more I'm thinking about it, how am I going to get up on there? You know, this thing is, I mean, it's pretty sturdy, but I don't know if it's sturdy enough to hold big old me <laughs> getting up on there and putting screws in. You know, I can reach uh, maybe like halfway up here, but up at the top in the center here, that might be a problem. You know, even getting on a ladder, I just can't lean that far. <sighs> decisions. There's too many decisions to make. I'm going to complain about something else in this video. You, you all are probably sick of me by now. 
you know, normally I'm just a jump in there and start doing it kind of guy. But for some reason in this case, I'm thinking I should be planning better or I'm missing something. So maybe I won't do anything yet. The sun is going down. It's a weeknight. I got to get up and go to school early in the morning. So maybe I just won't do anything today. Wait till the weekend. You know what? How about this? I'm going to post this video. Yeah, I'll post this video. And uh, uh, how about you all out there in YouTube land? What do you think? How should I do this thing? Should I go with interior walls? Should I put a tarp on it for a roof? Should I do metal roofing? Which I'm gonna, metal roofing, I'm gonna have to buy, you know, some more of that. And that stuff is not cheap. Um, interior boxes, exterior boxes. Am I trying too hard, thinking too hard? Uh, am I trying to build a chicken coop or a palace? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. What do you think? How about you uh, put it in the comments? Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think because I don't know what I'm going to do. So, man, if you watch this far in this video, you deserve a prize. I don't know what the prize is. You certainly have my gratitude and uh, admiration for putting up with it this long. So hopefully I'll get you some uh of content of doing things on this here in the near future instead of just me yakking but anyway i'm gonna quit yakking and if you watched thank you and i hope you have a very blessed day